how would you describe this season for you looking at it? Mental, absolutely mental. I think, obviously, from a personal point of view, really disappointed because I, I want to play games and that's all I've done for my whole career. It's not very often I've missed a, a season, especially for City. So from that point of view, I think, obviously, I can't wait to put on a Man City shirt and kind of contribute to the team. But um, the league as a whole has been ridiculously competitive, which is great for everybody and for players as well. You get to compete against the best players in the world every weekend. And for City as a whole, I think, I think I said in an interview the other day, I was like, I think people haven't really spoke that much about us because of the start of the season. But to do what we've done from Christmas onwards has been unbelievable. And to win that many games in a row, to qualify for Champions League, to win a cup and get to a final where I thought we were the better team. I think we should be really proud of the comeback that we've had. And you've had an input in that as well, even though you haven't been able to play some of the, the crucial games you've been involved in. And that gives you an idea of how important you are for England as well, what you can you can do in the next week or so. Yeah, I think obviously it's a team effort. And I think once you are injured, it's, it's more about what kind of role can you play and obviously going to the games and supporting the girls in the change rooms and maybe given a different point of view because I'm up higher in the stands to try and help or see what I say. Kind of a little bit of coaching, really. But um, no, I think just being that little bit of a voice and trying to kind of see it from a different perspective and trying to be a leader. Um, and obviously, when you've had that much experience in the game, I think sometimes people just need a calm head And because I'm a bit older and I've played a lot of tournaments, played a lot of games. I think sometimes you just need that little bit of reassurance as players, mm. especially at the moment. So hopefully I can bring that to both Man City and England in the future. So how do you feel about this this group that Serena's got together now? Uh, look, going into another tournament, you say you've been to other tournaments and you look at what's around you. What, what do you feel about that? Oh, I'm excited. I think there's a hunger there, there's a desire. And I think the fact it is a home tournament, it makes it that little bit more exciting, which is great and the fact that the girls are buzzing that obviously all the stadiums have sold out for our games I think that gives you an extra bit of a boost but I think the form of the team since September since Serena's come in you can see that we're getting better and better each game no matter the opposition and I think coming into camp you can see that everybody's just ready to do whatever it takes to to help England be successful which is amazing you've got some young players that are so hungry to keep improving and them all the players that have experienced tournaments that have just got that know-how of of winning games so I think that balance at the moment is really good and it's quite clear to see um, especially over the last couple of days. Well how much do you take notice of what other squads are for other nations or what they're doing in preparation or do you just get, end up in the England bubble? I think sometimes it's quite hard I'm, um, I think I'm um, a player that really likes to just focus on like my team and kind of what we're doing and if we're all preparing properly which we are and um, at the moment it's quite chilled because obviously there's no real games coming up but we're, we're working hard people have had their holidays their rest and they're back now in focus so of course you kind of have a little bit of a look at like squad announcements and where the big players have made certain squads and I think the France one came out the other day and you see the likes of Henri missing and Lissa Mare and you're like oh my god they are big players and they have really been part of France's history for a long long time so I think in that sense you try and just stay focused as much as you possibly can but sometimes there's people that just blurt out news anyway and just kind of say yeah such and such is missing or the Netherlands are doing this so you get naturally kind of involved in it anyway 